Donald yes. Trump is supposedly going to give a speech tonight, supposedly outlining his new budget. Now, look, I'm, I'm just trying to, I'm going to encapsulate this. The Republicans have a problem because they want to cut taxes. They want to pass a budget. They want to repeal and replace the Affordable Care Act, or at least they say they do. They cannot do these things through normal statutory processes because Democrats still have the ability to filibuster and Republicans are disinclined to get rid of the filibuster for legislation. Democrats also have the ability to put amendments on it in the House and slow the thing down. So they need to do this through budget reconciliation. Before they can actually do tax cuts, they need to know what the budget numbers are so they can actually base it on something. So they need to do the Affordable Care Act first. They're running out of time. And the problem they have is they can't figure out what the White House wants to do. And the reason why they can't figure out what the White House wants to do is because the White House doesn't know what it wants to do because it doesn't know what it's doing. Being Literally. I'm not being no, it's true. flip. Like, they don't know what they're doing. There was a story about the Affordable Care Act that they have a plan to roll back the Medicaid expansion. And Donald Trump met with John Kasich on Friday, called Jared uh, Kushner in, and said, hey, um, this is what he wants to do with Medicaid. And Kushner's like, well, no, what we're, we're going to do is we're rolling it back more. And he goes, well, I like his plan better. It's a now, plan. the problem is they shouldn't have let Kasich into the White House. So they're going to have to have somebody else come in and sit down with them. And the way that Trump's going to decide all this is at the end of the day, like, who was the last guy to talk to me? That's the one. He's going to throw a dart. Like, oh, wow, look, it was the wild card. It was Crazy Bernie. There you go. Sorry, Bingo. everybody. Sorry. Sorry. Last meetings with Crazy Bernie. All right. I didn't expect it. So Trump is now, all we know are sort of like, uh, you know, uh, there's been some dribs and drabs that will come out for what their budget proposal is. He wants to increase military spending by $54 billion. And the idea is, theoretically, to cut what is known as discretionary spending to get that money, and also tax cuts. The problem is, that doesn't work in terms of addition and, and subtraction. This is such a basic fact that even the guys from Fox and Friends know it. Ducey doesn't Ducey know it, doesn't but their producers it. have told them. I don't think Kilmeade knows it. They don't know. Kill me, but I mean. they, they can repeat it. I don't even know Here who that chick is. they are asking. Here's Steve Ducey, of all no. people. Listen, when Steve Ducey asks you a question you cannot answer, <laughs> you know you have a problem. Here he is asking him about the budget numbers. Mr. President, you're going to spend $54 billion at least more on the military, and the people who mm -hmm. in our audience uh, like that love this, and you've said you're going to do that all along. You're going to make big, sp uh, big spending cuts at the EPA right. and State Department. Where's the money come from? Well, the Because e it doesn't seem, if, if you cut all the money from EPA and all the money from State, that's about $50 billion. Well, I think the money's going to come from a revved-up economy. I mean, you look at the kind of numbers we're doing, we were probably GDP of a little more than 1%. And if I can get that up to three or maybe more, we have a whole different ball game. It's a whole different ball game. And that's what we're looking to do. <laughs> it's a whole different ball game. His own budget numbers apparently um, predict like a 2.45 uh, rate of growth in GDP. But aside from that, they're also talking about tax cuts. In other words, his numbers don't add up. And this is going to be a problem with the Republican Congress because they don't want to spend more because they've been arguing that we spend too much. And the Freedom Caucus is still in control. What they want him to do is to cut Social Security and Medicare. And he doesn't want to do that because people don't like that. See, it turns out 
that not just health care is more complicated than he thought, but all of it is more complicated than he thought. Not as complicated as having big league fucking growth. How about that, you little pansy? What's wrong with that? So you look at Deucey, you grab him by the neck, you say, how about big growth, you little friggin' pussy? So even Steve Deucey stumps Donald Trump. But Brian Kilmeade, he's going to get a chance to a ask a smart question too. <laughs> right, boss? Look at me. I'm going to ask a question about OMD, uh, OMB director Mick Mulvaney. Now, Mick Mulvaney was one of the founders of the Freedom Caucus. He wants literally to cut all discretionary spending. Now, you understand, 60% of our budget is non-discretionary. That is Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid, military. The rest is a military is a discretionary. The rest is, is discretionary. That means like education, housing, transportation, Veteran benefits, energy and environment, international affairs, science, which is tiny, tiny. I mean, the science budget is 3.3, like $33 billion, which is not even, well, I guess it's two-thirds of what Trump lot, wants to ex increase the military. There. There's a lot of pork there. A lot of pork. I mean, unless science is like some type of robot that you can use to blow somebody up, I don't really get the point. They're planning on cutting the EPA by 25%. Now, the funny part is, is that a lot of those programs go directly to states, money directly to states that they use to build things like big, tall towers and malls to give big tax breaks and uh, sweeten the pot for developers like Donald Trump. But he hasn't quite figured that out yet. But here's Brian Kilmeade getting to ask what his smart that? question. He's in your cabinet. You have an OMB director finally. He says you have to take an ax to entitlements. Your Treasury Secretary says we're not touching it. Who's right? Well, I'll tell you what. who's right. Uh, if the economy sails, then I'm right, because I said I'm not touching Social Security. So your OMB is wrong? I, I'm not saying anybody's wrong. Pause I'm it. just saying this. What he's trying to say here is that, um, and I think, you know, the problem is, is that Kilmeade uses the word right in an incorrect fashion. What I think Kilmeade means is, what's the position of your administration? And instead, Donald Trump can then just say right and wrong, and even then he won't even commit to that. So just uh, bring it back. Because Donald Trump doesn't seem to understand that you've got to write your budget before you can see how the economy performs. And so if you're suggesting that if the economy does well, then I'm right, <laughs> you've got to be either sure that it's going to do that if you're going to be right, or, but let's just continue. To entitlements. Your Treasury Secretary says we're not touching it. Who's right? Well, I'll tell you what, who's right. Uh, if the economy sails, then I'm right, because I said I'm not touching Social Security. So your OMB is wrong? I'm not saying anybody's wrong. I'm just saying this. If we, and, and I think this is what's going to happen, Brian, I think our country is going to sail. There it is. <laughs> now, originally when I saw that clip, I was like, well, let's keep playing it because I'm sure they're going to follow up on it. But they didn't. They just said, okay, as long as the country is going to sail. What part of sail are you not understanding? That's what Joey Nosox told me right before the fucking interview. He says, look, the economy is going to fucking sail. You know those old Lincolns with the fucking souped-up engine, the 70s, you're just fucking sailing. That's what the economy is going to be like. Or when his dad paid the Gambino family to build the fucking hotel, okay? That's also a sale. Sale. Total sale. Hey, it's Sam Cedar. Why don't you uh, subscribe to this channel? You can do so right, uh, right over here. Uh, so over. Subscri subscribe.